With more people using at home COVID testing, officials are warning of some risks with keeping them home in your children's reach. Nine in your signs. Aaron Jenkins spoke to the North Carolina Poison Control. And Aaron, what are experts warning about these tests? Well, Ken and Angie, inside those COVID test tubes are actually chemicals that could cause some issues. Poison control experts say most of the chemicals aren't considered dangerous, but they're issuing some guidance in case anyone in your household comes into contact with those chemicals. As more people get COVID testing kits in the mail from the government or at local giveaway sites, the North Carolina Poison Control has received a number of calls concerning the kits. We've had a handful of them um, from all various different sort of mistakes or accidents or unintentional sort of uh, things that have happened and they've all been very benign. Michael Beeler is the medical director of the NC Poison Control. He says the kits contain solutions to balance the pH and a chemical preservative. Which in some of these cases is sodium azide, which is the one that's probably risen to the top of people's concerns because that one is probably one of the more toxic components. Beeler says this might sound concerning, but from what I understand about azide and what I've seen before and treated, this is not enough to cause a concerning type, life threatening, dangerous issue. At best, we might see a little bit of dizziness. We might see a headache. We might see some symptoms that will be short lived and not life threatening. The poison control is especially warning parents of ingestion by kids. Is there enough in there to make a child sick? And that is actually something that is being debated because you've got to consider the child, you've got to consider their tolerance, you've got to consider the amount, you've got to consider was the stomach empty or full. Or accidentally getting it into your eye. People see these little bottles and a mistake gets made and someone tries to put it in their eye as if like an eye drop, and that can be a problem. Beeler says it's best to lock up those tests out of your children's reach, but if an incident does happen, they encourage parents not to hesitate and call the poison control who staffed 24 seven with specialists. Their hotline number is listed at, on our website at WNCT.com. In studio, Aaron Jenkins, nine on your side. Aaron, thank you.